What's up guys, just a guy in tech here. Smartphones have become such an inseparable part of our daily lives. We use the smartphones more than we use our laptops or our computer PCs. Currently, there are over 3.2 billion smartphone users out there in the world. That's roughly equivalent to 38 or 39% of the world's population. In 2019, 56% of the total website traffic was generated towards smartphones. And there are over 14 million jobs associated with the smartphone industry. But let's just take a step back and analyze. 20 years ago, the smartphones didn't even exist. And now, we don't even remember the last day when we didn't even use our smartphones. So the question is, have our smartphones evolved? Or have they reached the final stage of evolution yet? To answer the first part of the question, yes, the smartphones have evolved. And to make my point more clear, we'll compare it with the Nokia 105. The Nokia 105 is the oldest phone that I have with me right now. And it is old enough to prove that the phones have evolved over the years. The Nokia 105 released way back in May 2013. And it was insanely popular in the developing nations where Apple iPhones and Samsung phones weren't so popular. So the internal memory on these phones was around 8 megabytes and it was restricted to hold around 500 contacts and 200 messages and that's it and in today's smartphones we have the least storage capacity around 64 gigabytes and it can be expanded all the way to 512 gigabytes and with the help of SD cards or removable storages we can have our storage up to 1 terabyte so this let's compare 1 terabyte and 8 megabytes with the one terabyte of storage, you can store your 4K videos, your amazing raw photos, or Word documents, your project files, everything on your phones. But that was not the case with the, smart, with the phones earlier. Now, let's talk about the displays. The display on this particular phone is a 1.4 inch non-touch screen LCD display that had a resolution of 128 by 128 pixels. And today's smartphones have state-of-the-art full flexible OLED displays with amazing refresh rates, no non bezel-less displays and amazing resolutions. We don't even watch 480p or 720p resolution videos these days. And would you use these phones in today's world? Probably not, right? And who can forget about cameras? The cameras on smartphones change the whole world for users out there. These phones didn't even have a single camera. Forget selfies, they didn't even have back cameras those days. But these days, cameras have become so good that you don't necessarily need to have another compact camera to take beautiful or amazing shots. While we are at the cameras, let's just talk about what all these cameras could do in today's smartphones. In today's smartphones, the cameras will let you record 4K videos at 30 or 60 frames per second or if you like slow motion videos, you could probably shoot them at 1080p at 240 frames per second. And we're not stopping there. The smartphones that are going to be releasing this year will let you shoot or record videos at 8K 30 frames per second. That's right guys, 8K resolution videos on your smartphones. To just tell you guys, the movies that you see in today's world are still shot at 1080p, 80% of them at least. Now, let's talk about the cameras on the phones these days. The smartphones that are going to be releasing this year, that is 2020, would support 108 megapixel back cameras, 40 megapixel front cameras, 12 megapixel ultra wide cameras, and probably another lens for your macro shots. You have so many different lenses and resolutions to choose from to get that one perfect beautiful shot. And these phones right here didn't have even one single camera. Now, let's talk about the batteries on these phones. The batteries on these phones were removable. This phone right here had an 800 mAh lithium ion battery that would give you a battery life of around 12.5 hours for continuous talking. I do know that the smartphones today wouldn't have such a beautiful battery life and that's because we use so many different apps on the smartphones. We have apps for everything that we can ask for. You want to book a hotel reservation, you have an app for that. You want to book a flight or a bus or a train, you have an app for that. You want to binge watch movies or watch series, you have so many different apps, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, HBO, YouTube. You have everything that you can ask for in your smartphone alone. To just tell you guys a fact, there are probably 
204 billion app downloads in 2019 alone. That's how much the mobile or the phones have evolved over the years. So yes, the smartphones have evolved over the years. And thanks to those amazing evolutions that this phone had, we can do super awesome things using the smartphones these days. But now let's talk about the second part of the question. Have the smartphones hit their final stage of evolution or have they finally evolved that there's no more evolution possible for the smartphones? The answer is yes, but also no. We feel yes because they keep coming in this rectangular shape design with just one or two added new features every year. And it makes no sense to buy a new smartphone every year when you have spent thousand bucks this year to get a beautiful smartphone. The thing is, we always say it evolved or this is a new phone when we see big design changes or when we see a tremendous change in the smartphone. But over the past two or three years, we are just seeing new software upgrades or just one or two hardware design changes in the smartphones. And that's probably why we feel that the smartphones have reached the final stage of evolution. But I strongly feel no, because the smartphones are here to evolve. Let's just say how cool it would be to have 3D projections of the friends or family when you're FaceTiming or WhatsApp, WhatsApping them. So just say, I FaceTime my friend and a 3D projection pops up from my phone and I can just see him directly here and talk to him. That would be so cool, right? It would be like a Marvel movie where Iron Man does these things. And I certainly feel smartphones can do that in the future. Let's just say the smartphone becoming a tablet. That's going to become a reality this very year when Microsoft releases, releases the Surface Neo in the holiday season of 2020. Your phone can become a tablet and you can edit your videos, edit your photos, everything on your smartphone. You don't need to buy a separate tablet for that. So yes, the smartphones are going to evolve and we are going to adapt to the evolution and we are going to love it. That's how it has been. We have always surprised ourselves when we have always reached an end point. When we reach an end point, we bring up something new. We create something new and we fall in love with it. And that's what is going to happen with smartphones. And that's why I feel they have not yet reached their final evolution stage or that's, or that's the end life of smartphones. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys about the evolution of smartphones. I hope you did like this video. If you have liked the video, please go hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends and family so that more people can watch my videos. And I'll attach all the links down below for my Instagram and Twitter account where I post daily tech updates. So if you like the daily tech updates, you can go probably follow me there. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.